boys and girls, it's Indiana Nose here. And I just got a clue that said, look up on the deck for your map. And I came up here and I found this right here. It's some kind of scroll. Let's get to a warmer place so we can read it. All right, I'm gonna sit down here out of the wind. Let's see if we can read this a little better. All right, boys and girls, so I've got the map. And I've got some problems. So first, I'm going to read you this part, okay? And it's got a nice little map for us. In order to earn the coin badge, you must teach so kids gain knowledge. Use this bag of coins to teach. Good luck. Indiana knows you're going to need it. The coin purse is at the finish with the badge. So we're trying to earn our coin badge today. Here it says, it says start at the deck and then we need to go to the finish at the sand pit. And I know there's a sand pit around here. Okay, so I've got coins in my pocket. Right here. And I'm going to be using these coins to teach you. And hopefully we earn our coin badge today. Coins. I'm going to start with the lowest coin and I'm going to teach you about how to see a coin and how to feel a coin to judge what it is. Now this is the lowest valued coin and this is a penny. The penny has a copper look to it. It's made of copper on the outside. It's got Abraham Lincoln on it. And on the back we have the Lincoln Memorial Building. And if you look really close, you can see Lincoln in there. He's kind of hidden, sitting down. And that is worth one cent. If you feel it, it's very smooth on the outside. Okay? You might find a penny in your pocket that is slightly greenish color. That is because it's been oxidized. So it starts off as copper, and then when the oxygen gets to it, it kind of turns a greenish color. This is what's happened to the Statue of Liberty. The, Lib the Statue of Liberty is a very greenish color because it's been oxidized. Okay, so that's our penny. The next coin up in value is the nickel. Now the nickel is a silverish color. Okay, and it's got a smooth feel to the outside. Okay, if you feel that. On the back, it's got Monticello, and it's worth five cents. That's the nickel. On the dime, the dime is worth 10 cents, and it's the smallest coin. It's got Franklin Delano Roosevelt on the outside, or on the front side. And it's got a torch and two olive branches on the back side. It's worth 10 cents. And the feel is different than the others so far in that it's pretty rough. It's got a rough texture to the outside. And that's the dime. Penny, nickel, and the dime. Now we're on to the last coin we're going to learn about today, and that's the quarter. The quarter is the largest of the coins and has George Washington, our first president, on the front. It says Liberty at the top, and it's got an eagle on the back. It says quarter dollar, which is worth 25 cents. Now you may find a quarter that has something different on the back. That's because some of the quarters have all the 50 states on it. So this one is a New York quarter, but there might be another one that has a different state. This one has Delaware on it. So sometimes you can't judge a quarter by what's on the back. I would always go with what's on the front for this one. It's the largest coin, and it's also got some texture. It's got some ridges on the outside. 
okay? So Indiana Knows just taught you about the different types of coins. Now let's talk about adding up coins. When I add up coins, I always start with the biggest coin. So let's say someone gave us a quarter, a dime, and a penny. Well, I know the quarters were 25 cents. I know the dime is worth 10 cents. Let me take out one of my markers for this. So this is 25 cents. That's the cent symbol. A dime is worth 10 cents, and a penny is worth one cent. If I add these up, 29, 25 plus 10 is 35, just counting by tens, and then I just have to add one. 35 plus one is 36 cents. Okay, let's add up some more coins. Let's take a dime a nickel, and two pennies. Well, that's 10 cents, five cents, one cent, and one cent. So 10 plus five is 15 cents, plus these two, which is two cents. 15 plus two is 17 cents. Okay, so always start with your biggest coin. That's my advice. If you get a problem, start with the biggest coin. And remember, if you can skip count by tens or fives, use that to your advantage. Now let's go to the least amount of coins. So someone may say, give me 35 cents in the least amount of coins. Well, you don't want to give somebody 35 pennies because you would pop, your pockets would be loaded with pennies. So if I got to get to 35 cents, I'm going to take, once again, my biggest coin. And that's my quarter. So I'm already at 25 cents. Now, can I do another quarter? Nope, because that would bring me to 50 cents. So the quarter's out of there. Let's go to the next one. What about a dime? A dime is worth 10 cents. Can I add a quarter? and a dime and get to 35? You betcha. 25 plus 10 is 35. Okay. What if we had to get to 77 cents? Once again, I'm not going to bring a bunch of pennies and get to 77 cents. No, I want to get there fast. So I'm going to take this is in the camera a quarter that's 25 another quarter that's 50 and another quarter that's 75 I'm almost there already I'm almost at 77 with just three quarters I'm at 75 I just have to go up two. so if I go up with two pennies I'm now at 77 cents Okay, so that's the least amount of coins. You always wanna start with your biggest one again and see if you don't go over. Now let's teach you a word problem. Bob has 85 cents. He buys a bouncy ball for 40 cents. How much money does Bob have left? Have left is a key word for subtraction. So we have 85 cents and we bought a bouncy ball for 40. Okay, so we're taking away 40. 5 minus 0 is 5. 8 minus 4 is 4. So that we have 45 cents left. We could buy a whole nother bouncy ball for that. Okay. Can I make 45 with this? Let's see. 25, 35, 40, 45. I have 45 cents right here. But watch this. I can, if I want to have the least amount of coins, let's exchange these two nickels, which are worth five and five is 10, for one dime. Now I have the least amount of coins to make 45. 25, 35, 45. 
Okay, boys and girls, I've taught you about coins, what they are, what they look like, how they feel, how you can add them up, the least amount of coins, some word problems that go with them. Now we need to try and go get that coin badge. So come with me. All right, boys and girls, I've taught you about the coins up on the deck. We've went over the penny, one cent, the nickel, five cents, the dime, 10 cents, and the quarter, 25 cents. Now we've got to get up to the sand pit to get that badge. Let's go. All right, I'm heading up to the sand pit. What is that? That was a close call. If you want to be able to earn the coin badge, you have to go down into, into the description of the YouTube video. There you will find the coin badge questions. If you answer all the questions right, you will earn the coin badge. You just have to go into the description, click the, click the link, answer all the problems, and you'll get emailed that badge. Please display that badge on your Indiana Nose template, okay? I love to see those up there, okay? Please subscribe to the video below so you can get more Indiana Nose.